Good morning. It might be a while before we get to sit at the front of the sanctuary together again, but that's okay because right now we're staying home so that we can take care of our friends and the people we love at church. But I thought that just because we can't meet together in the sanctuary or at Worship and Wonder doesn't mean that we can't talk to each other. And so this morning I wanted to read you a story from the Bible about Jesus. You see, a long time ago Jesus' friends wrote down all the things that Jesus said and did, and those stories became part of our Bible, and that's how we know what Jesus said and did. This morning I'm going to read you a story about Jesus with children, because Jesus loves children and he wants us to love children too, because children are special and they matter and they're very important. So here's the picture. I'll show you the picture every now and then, but I can't read it to you and show you at the same time. But there's the picture of Jesus with the children. Here's the story. One day, some mothers came to see Jesus, bringing their babies and small children with them. They wanted the master to put his hands on them and bless them. Jesus was very busy with the crowds, and the disciples thought how tired he looked. Go away, they said to the mothers. The master is too busy to spend time on children. Sadly, the mothers turned away. One of the babies began to cry, and soon there was a chorus of wails. Jesus looked up quickly and saw what had happened. Never turn the children away, he said sharply to the disciples. My kingdom is made up of people willing to become like children, those who are trustful and loving and humble too. Always let the children come to me. Come back, the disciples shouted to the retreating mothers. When the children and the toddlers saw Jesus' face, they ran towards him eagerly. The mothers shyly held up their babies for Jesus to bless. And there's Jesus blessing one of the babies. He took the ones who were crying first. They stopped as soon as he held them gazing up at him with big eyes. When Jesus handed them back, they lay gurgling contentedly in their mother's arms. Then Jesus picked up the toddlers and gave them all a hug. Lastly, he placed his hands on the heads of the older children, giving them God's blessing. The disciples looked on in wonder. The master would never cease to amaze them. He didn't seem to think that really important people, like the Pharisees, were important at all. Yet he spent all this time and trouble on mothers and children. Then the mother said, time to go home, and the children laughed and sang as they skipped away. The baby brothers and sisters were already fast asleep in their mother's arms. Let's say a prayer just like we do at church. I'll say some words and you can say them after me. And it won't even matter that we're not physically together. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for caring especially about children. In Jesus' name, Amen.